Hey, Earth Science. Uh, don't stare into the sun. But um, I've got a, a little miniature model sun in here so, so that we can uh, look at it safely. So during this whole time, that view over there is going to just kind of give you a you know, large-scale view of the room, know what's happening. But this camera right here, this is going to be our view from Earth. I will represent Earth, of course. This white ball is going to be the moon, and that light is the sun. Right. So if we are looking up in the sky during the daytime, it is possible to see the moon. However, you won't see the moon if it's close to the sun. Let me pull back some. So the moon, you can see it just off the reflection of my hand, but the moon is basically completely dark. Now there is some reflection off the top of that, which is uh, kind of based on the, uh, the strange angles we have here, but as you can see, the moon is basically completely dark. Okay, this is a new moon, and we're going to start going through this, the lunar cycle, so we can get an explanation of why the moon has every phase that it has. So the lunar cycle takes about a month. It's actually named after it, a month, about 29.7 days. And as the moon starts to orbit, like this, you can actually see one of the exposed sides of the moon getting some su um, sunlight. Now, when it is at this angle, we have this thin sliver of light on the right side. When the moon is getting more full, we call it waxing. And this is a waxing crescent. As it continues to move, uh, I shouldn't be moving myself, as it continues to move, it gets to a point where the dividing line between um, dark and lit runs straight down the center of the moon. This is a first quarter. As we continue to go around, we're no longer looking at the sun during the daytime. As you can see, the sun is behind me. It's behind this view, which means that at this point in the lunar cycle, if you're seeing the moon, you're seeing it at night. And you'll notice that the light does not extend all the way to the edge. However, it does extend past halfway. And at this point, we call it waning, I'm sorry, waxing gibbous. All the way around, oh, I've lost it. Oh, there we are. All the way around, we've got ourselves the entire face of that moon exposed to the light. This is a full moon, of course. Now you'll notice, if I put <laughs> this camera so that its shadow is on the moon, it's dark now. This is actually a lunar eclipse. Now, lunar eclipses don't happen every month because, just move this slightly out of the way, you still have the moon illuminated. Um, the sun, moon, and earth don't all orbit each other in a perfectly flat plane. There is a slight angle. So that's why you don't have a lunar eclipse every month. But we have a full moon right here. Okay, continue to move this around. And... What's our angle now? Well, now it's starting to get dark on the right side of the moon, and if I move this just a little bit more, there we are. We have a similar situation to what we had before, where it's not illuminated all the way on the right side, so we have something that is mostly illuminated. Since the light is going away now, we call this waning. This would be a waning gibbous moon. We get to just the right spot, and the moon is now illuminated precisely halfway again. This would be the third or last quarter. 
if we come close again, we end up with that crescent shape, except this time it's more like a C than a D. This would be our waning crescent. And if you just give it another couple days, we're back to a new moon, and that is a full solar cycle. Now, again, if the moon just happens to be in the right place, we have an eclipse. That would be a solar eclipse. And again, those are rare, or at least they don't happen all the time, because if the moon is just below or just above, then it misses. Now, there are predictable cycles of solar and lunar eclipses. The solar eclipses follow what's called the Saros cycles, and you can look those up and uh, predict the next eclipse, but this right here is the view from, you know, third person out of the Earth-Sun-Moon uh, system, what the lunar phases look like, and then from the Earth's point of view, um, what you're seeing, whether it's daytime and the moon and the sun are in the sky at the same time, or it's nighttime and the moon is in the sky, but the sun is not. All the way back again at the beginning. Oh. Anyway, there's a lunar cycle for you.